Welcome, welcome, welcome It's your boy Twin Zinc And this is Twin Zinc Talk On this podcast here We'll be talking about all subject matters Nothing is off the table We try to keep the facts Be respectful to one another And just give that real dialogue that Some people are scared to give you or won't give you Or to give you half-baked information So once again, thank you for tuning in Twin Zinc And let's rock all right, there we go. Welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing today? This is Twins Ain't Talk. I'm your host. And as y'all see today, I have two wonderful love ladies that I have on the show today. And now, if you're not watching this, we're, on, we're live on YouTube. Now, on IG, she's live on her IG as well. We, we're all over the place. So if you want to chime yeah. in, just jump in anywhere. How y'all ladies doing today? We are doing good. good. How about you, love? I'm doing good. great. I'm doing great. <laughs> Well, first off, let's let's get this out the way first. Today has been a okay. very interesting day. <laughs> we're not yes. we're not gonna get into it, what's going on, but we know what's going on. But we want to sprinkle a little bit of sunshine into everybody's lives today because there's been a lot going. Yeah, that would be great, sunshine. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've been dealing with a lot of craziness going on in the world right now, especially what's happening in D.C. So, if you've been following the channel Twins and Talk, yes. I talk about pretty much a right. lot, lot of everything. But one thing I'm definitely big on is um, entrepreneur, being your own business owner. One thing that we probably all learned about 2020 was that at any given moment, the government can say, you know what? We're shutting it down. Everybody go home and good luck from there. Right now, we are blessed to work for a good company. We're not going to mention a name, but we work for a good company that uh, let us both be able to work from home and continue to do our job. We're blessed for that. But at any given moment, when they feel like, you know what, the number's looking low, we need to cut back here, we can get chopped. So today, I want to, you know, because it's the You're new right. year, I want to give everyone some little insight about, you know, these two young ladies I, I, I'm about to interview today and have them talk for themselves as well. You know, because these two ladies have been doing this way before 2020. So let's be clear. It's not because they've been doing it. They've been doing this way before 2020. I've been watching them for a while. And honestly, I'm very impressed. You know, single mother raising a young, beautiful young princess. Thank you. To be an entrepreneur at a young age. It's like, wow, I need to step my game up. And then on top of that, there's no excuse out there for anybody who said they can't do it. And she can be, she's going to tell you her story herself. So I'm not going to just, you know, but right. I want I want to give the introduction of what's going on here and what what you see the topic is mom and daughter entrepreneurs. So go ahead, ladies. First off, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Let everybody know who you are. Okay. Hey, the Chop Team. My name is well. I go by Toronto at work, but tomorrow Jenkins. Um, and this is my daughter. What's your name? London Daily. London Daily. Mm. Um. From Hokinsville, Georgia. I want to put that out there. H Town. I got to put that out there. Um, about 45 minutes south of Atlanta, but we currently reside in Loganville. Um, we're like Dwayne has said earlier, working from home. She's doing virtual right now. But we are the mommy and daughter duo. I call ourselves the queen and the princess because, of course, that's how, you know, you, you want to raise them. You know, you got a girl and a boy, the prince and the princess. You want to already instill that royalty in them. But the um, mother-daughter duo, business entrepreneurs, um, I am the owner of A Touch of Grace and More LLC, um, where we've been in business for about 13. Okay. Now we're back. Sorry about that. That might be me. I think, you know, connection might be a little weak over here. That's okay. But that's what we're doing. So are you, where are you located? I'm, I'm not, I'm at home. I'm in my man cave, AKA okay, studio. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh, not the cave. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. All right, so we're good here. So yeah. run that back one more time. I do apologize for that. So, but you, we, 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 I was, sure. I was no letting, problem. I was letting y'all talk about you know when y'all started and all the good stuff. Go ahead. Awesome. So again, my name is Tomorrow Jenkins, um, the owner of A Touch of Grace and More LLC, and her name is London Daly, and I'm the owner of London Slime Time. Yes. <laughs> so um, A Touch of Grace started back in 2013. Um, it started with the idea from me and my niece. Um, well, actually, it was my niece, and I was supposed to be a silent investor. And what happened was 
it just became my baby. So, um, and in the beginning, we just wanted something that was going to be a legacy for our daughters who both have daughters and just something that we can pass along because um, like you were speaking about earlier, in this lifetime, you've got to have an extra stream of income. You have to have something of your own and something that you can build. Um, generational wealth, let's just start there. You have to build generational wealth for your family. Um, it's not even like a need anymore. I mean, it's not even a want, it's a need now. Right. You have to do, these are things that we have to do. We have to do it as a people. We have to do it within our families. Um, like I tell my tribe all the time, hey, look, what y'all doing? <laughs> what can we do to be positive? What, what can we do to help the next person? Things like that. So um, the business started, we would just make earrings, um, branched off. Of course, you know, I love sports. So I started incorporating sports into it. Then we went into more accessories. And then back in 2006, started looking at how I can go into my purpose. And one of the things that I looked at was college. Um, of course, everybody is not for college. Everybody, you know, you don't have to go to college. However, when you do go to college, you do need funding. Fact. So the A Touch of Grace Scholarship Award was created to help incoming or rising freshmen with funding, whether it be for getting that um, book that you need or whether it be for getting food to go into your apartment or your dorm room just to help out um, for that first semester. I know it is, I'm not the richest person in the world, but hey, if I can make a difference to someone, that's actually my purpose. Um, and when did you start, Lennon? How long ago? Well, <laughs> two years ago. Two years ago. And where did your ideas came from? Why did you want to start your business? Because that's all you started in business. You saw me starting a business. And then what, what did you say about that? I said that you, you sell grown-up stuff, and then I can sell kids and grown-up stuff. So she wanted to do something that tailored to kids. Because in, in the beginning, I was only doing things for adults. It was nothing really for kids. So she was like, okay, well, mama doing the adults. I got you. I got the kids. Okay. Well, you answered a few of my questions I have there as well, but that's still awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all on a roll. So, okay. Well, you, l l ladies and gentlemen, you heard a lot already that she already said. But I have a few other, few other questions that I like to ask as well. So, um, so the businesses that you all two have, right, are they – both, um, is it one business umbrella or she has her own independent and you have your own independent? Well, for it's under one umbrella, but it's still like a brand off. I let her have her individuality. Um, like she said, it's London slime time. So, of course, she started with the slime and things for kids, the, the yo-yos and the bouncy balls, things the kids like to play with. But she's also incorporated some things where it can kind of intertwine between both businesses. Um, Lenny, you want to talk about some of the things that you've um, brought new, especially like last year? Um, the tie-dye socks. Socks, okay. The Word Up hairpins. The Word Up hairpins, okay. The, um, um, what is it called? Um, what kind of hair, um, headbands? The headbands. Yeah, that. And the slap. Slap bracelet. Slap bracelet. So she she has her own little identity, and we kind of talk about okay, what what do kids like, and then we we try to find a trend or a fad that's going on, and then try to adapt to that fad or that trend. Um, for kids, you have to kind of look at kids are going to be kids. Facts. So I I have to try to keep her in the mindset of being a kid and not growing up too fast. In a particular business mindset, right? And I was going to um, ask you that. I was going to ask you that. I was going. How do you manage the entrepreneur and also want to be a kid at the same time? How you go ahead, continue on that. Sure, no problem. So, I mean, like you said, you got kids, so you understand. You you want the baby to be a baby <laughs> for right. so long, but you also want them to understand that there is business that needs to be handled. Um, for me, I try not to overdo it with her. We're going to work on four things. These are the four things you want to bring out this year, and we'll gradually do them within the year time frame. I don't want to overwhelm her with anything because at the end of the day, her attention span, her mind frame is only going to go so far. So we, we always set up, this is what we're going to do for the holidays. Okay, this is what you're going to do for, um, let's say, the first quarter where she 
incorporated the slap bracelets and the headbands. Okay. She always want to make sure that if she brings something for the girls, she also brings something for the boys. Um, do you want to kind of talk about how um, how you think about business? How you you know business is meeting the new um, business people. It's making money, learning how to save your money and spend your money and what you need for your business. And it's cooperating with your customers. Okay. All right. And it's having fun. And having fun. See, you heard that last thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you got to throw fun do, in there. You got to have fun. Got to make it a passion. You got to have fun. Yes. Wow. So, how do London, how old are you right now? I'm nine years old. So at two years ago when you started your business, so you was at you were seven years old when you first started your business. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Oh shoot, that's what. Okay, so Sean will be seven in January. So now, okay, I think. All right. So you know what time it is? Yeah, know what time it is. I ain't got no excuses, <laughs> right? Got no excuses. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes. you see that right now that seven at, at age seven, you can really start something with the kids and find out something that they like to do. And like she just said, tailor it toward her kids. So slime, and I bought slime too, and the kids had a lot of fun with it. Now, of course, I had mess everywhere, but you know, that's parenting. <laughs> blame her. <laughs> blame her. <laughs> no, so I, I can't blame yeah. her for that. It was a good service. But for real, seven years old. Because you know what? In the world that we're in now, well, like, like I said, 2020 shows that at any given moment, your boss can say, go home, and that's it. Good luck, on, good luck from there. So at uh, seven years old, that's good because that's what more black families need to start doing with their kids because we can't expect our kids to go out there and, I mean, for real, let's think about it for a minute. The American dream, right? You go to school. You get good grades. You go to college. You get a job. That's the American dream. Then you die and retire. But one thing they don't tell you about that is when you go to college, you're going in debt. You go to school, let's oh, say, four yes. years. You, you probably spend over eighty to $100,000 on a bachelor's or master's degree, whatever you get. But then as soon as you get out, if you have no work experience or no connections, you're going to start a job at entry level. So you still got to pay back maybe $500 a month on student loans plus working plus right. having a job. And then if you have kids and a family, you got to factor all that in. That's not the real American dream. And then you have to ask your boss for days off. With Ms. Leonard over here, the young gay, starting younger than both of us because I didn't start my business until right. I was 27, 27. Yeah. I'm still working it. But – the fact that she's starting at seven, she has a way his start to learn business. So when she gets to that point, she could be her own boss, do what you want to do. But at the same time, I love how you have you integrated the fun part in it too. It's not just like, okay, I got to do this business. My mom told me to do it. You, you make sure because right. kids do have a short span of attention. And I know that as well because I have two of them. But you have to make it to where they really, you know what I'm saying? They, they, one, they enjoy it, but still enjoy being a kid because what our moms used to tell us, you better enjoy being a kid, and they was never lying because I was rushing to be an adult. I was rushing to work. Now I'm oh, like, man, yes. I wish I was a kid. So, London, pay attention here. Enjoy the kid life. Now, I'm still have a business too, but make sure you're enjoying no sleeping in, no worries, none of that bill stuff, whatever. Because once you get no bills, I know. Well, <laughs> I'm sure yeah, with her business, she pays something, you know, because you got to teach her young. But still, enjoy the fun time. Trust me. But anyway, next question I have. <laughs> um, so what does it mean to both of y'all? Y- y'all can answer this, whatever. But what does it mean to y'all to be an entrepreneur? What does it mean to you personally in your own words? Not the meaning, but what to me, what does it mean to you? Well, for me, um, and I'm going to probably talk about her a little later, but just learning my why. For me, being an entrepreneur, once I kind of learned some of the ins and outs of it was, um, as I mentioned before, generational wealth. It's something that I can pass down to London. And then also looking at how I can help the community. Um, community is everything. Um, you have to have that support. Also helping my family. Everybody see me in London, but we still have a strong tribe behind us to help support us. Say that again. um, Say that again. Being an entrepreneur, a strong tribe. Yeah, (laughs) we have a strong tribe behind us that um, they help us. They help. They help me a lot. So 
everybody, like I say, they see us in the forefront, but we also have a team in the back. Um, also, entrepreneurship is freedom to me. Um, when you think about it, like you mentioned, Ver- uh, we ain't going to mention the company. Sorry. <laughs> our job all right. can leave. Most people know I work anyway, but our job, it can leave at any time. I've seen people jobs left. I've seen people who come back. I've seen people who've left the job and just became a full-time entrepreneur. He is a, a grind. It's a hustle. It is not for the weak, like I was saying. It is for those who have a passion to do something great. Now, going into this, and I'm still learning. Right. I always put that I'm a forever learner because you can never stop learning. So that's also part of entrepreneurship as well. Um, like I was saying about my tribe, I motivate them. They motivate me. Um, we have talks. My friends know we have talks about what what's the next big thing. What what is something that you're doing? What is something that you want to do? What can I help you with? What can you help me with? Mm-hmm. And entrepreneurship is if you think about and I'm, I'm you know just talking about back in the day, how did people survive? They didn't have jobs. Somebody was good at washing clothes. Somebody was good at doing the hair. Somebody was good at doing something. That's how some of the um, salons got started. Some of the Black Wall Street, if I may add. They get that. So you have to look at what are you good at and how can you make that profit? What about what's entrepreneurship to you? It's about working hard. Working hard. Getting your money. Getting your money. (laughs) (laughs) Making happy with their purchase. Just having fun with it. Just having fun with it. Yeah, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Everything you're saying is correct, so don't overthink it. So, I'm going to ask you this, uh, Toronto. So, as far as, because we know what Londa does, what does your business do? So, for me, a touch of grace, um, I'm kind of dwindling from what I used to do, but we're an accessory business. Okay. We sell and sunglasses. Earrings was my thing at first, but I'm getting into more custom. Um, costume jewelry and then I also do waist beading so waist beading I just started um, West African tradition everybody knows it comes basically from started in Ghana right? and more of well the waist beading started for sensuality for the African culture where you kind of knew and understood when it was time to you know be intimate with your guy (laughs) also (laughs) okay um, a lot of people are using it for waist training so and then, of course, the the normal fashion. So, um, got into that. Love it. Been helping a lot of um, women understand or how to train their way uh, without having to put on the tight garment. Now, don't get me wrong. I got my tight garment. Shout out to Burn Fit and Swear and Fit Her. I got my <laughs> garments or whatever. But when you can't wear those garments, and then I use for fashion when I'm out at the beach. You know, it's it's something that's sexy. You know, the guys looking at you. Right. The girls. <laughs> but it's just something that's sensual um, and, you know, helps with your sexuality for me. Um, also, I'm uh, working on a project. Don't want to really share it too much right now. Uh-oh. But just that will be helping and motivating other people. And then also working on a nonprofit to help the people of my hometown. Oh, wow. So you gave some exclusive information here, too, on top of that. <laughs> dope 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 i love it i love it i love it all right all right all right a few more questions and i'll let y'all go because i know she got school tomorrow because mine's about to lay down too right <laughs> all right all right one more a few more questions here. a few more questions here i gotta get my screen back up all right all right all right all right so now that um you know she has a business you have a business you're both businesses whatever so when it comes to that, uh, I know later on the line, you want to have employees, right? Yeah, later. Later. You know, you know, whatever the blessing happened, you never know. Tomorrow, boom, you might need a million big weights. You just never know. She may need 100,000 slime. You just never know what happens. So when the overflow comes, you need to be ready. But the question I have for you that, um, because I know she's young at a young age, but um, how are you training her when it comes to managing people or being around other people well probably kids but still how you manage that with her 
Okay. With her, um, it's more of a conversation that I try to let her know um, and being friendly. Um, of course, worked in customer service forever. So corporate America has helped me train us to um, not be that customer. You right. Know what I'm right. But to the service. So for me, I actually let her know that we are a service customer and not a customer service. And what I mean by that is. I like that. that doesn't matter if you're selling a piece of bubble gum or a Rolls Royce and who you're selling it to. Everybody bleeds the same blood. Everybody breathes the same air. So we're going to treat everybody the same, whether their money is big or small, because if they're coming in to help us, they're, they're helping us when they're coming in to us. So regardless if you're spending a dollar or a hundred thousand dollars with us, we're going to treat you the same way and we're going to service you because you're our customer. You're, we, we should be protecting what we own and we should make sure that you understand that when you're buying with us, regardless, like I said, if it's a dollar or five million dollars, we're going to treat you the same way with respect, dignity, integrity, and have the best service customer, not customer service. Right, right. Buy it to you. That's dope. That's dope. So once again, people pay attention. There's no excuses, no excuses, no excuses here. It's very important that we have these business, these conversations with our kids so we don't leave them astray when they get older. We don't want them working for someone else unless they choose to. But I want to give my kids all the tools and resources that maybe I didn't have or things I learned on the, the bumps and bruises that's through my business and careers working, right? So um, final question, final question. Still with entrepreneur slash business. So. Miss London, so uh, when you get paid, when you get paid from a customer, right, you thank them for their service, right? So when you get the money, what are you doing with the money? Are you buying snacks? Are you buying some clothes or toys? What are you doing? I want to know your mindset. Mom, no help. I'm saving it up so when I have my 10th birthday, I go to Jamaica so I can pay for my own um, airplane ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. You didn't hear candy. You right. Hear, you heard what she said. I'm not mad at her. Hey, uh, you're nine now, right? At nine years old, right? Oh. Yeah. If I ask my kids that, they're like, uh, Spider Man yeah. toy, some. Oh. I got some work to do. That's all. And, I, and I, I'm not afraid to admit it. I got some work to do. <laughs> Listen here. No, go, go ahead. So, um, yeah, like she said, she saves it. Um, we look at a big goal mm-hmm. that she, for the year. And this year, as we're turning into our 10th birthday, she wants to go to Jamaica. That's, a, that's her dream of going to Jamaica. So I let her know that, okay, I'll take you to Jamaica. You got to buy the plane ticket. That's dope. You got to buy the plane ticket. So with her money, she she sets a goal. We set goals. So every vendor show, pop-up shop, um, the holiday stockings that we just did, we set a goal. Her goal was 50 stockings. She did 84. So you you just have to set those goals, save the money, and then in May, hopefully we'll be in Jamaica. <laughs> right, right, right. Hopefully with, yeah, I'm with you on that one. I want to yeah. travel too. Listen. Yeah, Man, you know what? We just going. Forget it. We just gonna go. Wear our masks, cover up. We are gonna go and travel because we've been stuck in these houses since March of last year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, one thing, one another thing I want to say to everybody who's watching the show right now, YouTube, IG, whatever. I know we have a little connection today, but these two here, I always constantly see. Um, they always give back. When when she says she gives back, they really give back. They do scholarships. They do raffles all the time, which I believe is a dope thing. And what's going to happen by doing that is that you, you're going to be blessed. You will be blessed. They are coming your way because it's, it's not just about you. You're not like, you're not trying to just get all the money and, Oh, I got this. I got that. No, you give them back. And when you give back, good things happen. That's how, that's how the world works. Believe it or not, <laughs> whatever you're giving to it, it comes back to you. So I want to commend both of y'all for the hard work that you're doing um, two beautiful young, beautiful young ladies who are out there getting it with no excuses, 
ladies and gentlemen, there's no excuse. If 2020 didn't make you a hustler, then guess what? You may not be. You may not have the hustler in you. No shade. No shade. I'm going to give you the facts, but there's no excuses. I don't want to hear, oh, but I couldn't. I didn't have the money. You can, if you can make something, you can sell something. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap this up today. Um, I got some, a lot of editing to do here, but anything else you got to like to say um, before we close out here today, tonight? You can go first. Um, stay safe. Stay safe. Relax. Um, have faith in everybody. Have faith. Stay safe and have faith with your heart. Uh, for me, um, open your hands. You can't be blessed with your hand closed. So Facts. you have to open your hand. Um, also, if you don't have a tribe, you better start building a tribe. Yes. Something to let you know that you need to get your people together. Second thing, the only thing we can do is do it together. If it's going to be good and it's going to be great, we have to collaborate and do it together. Don't get me wrong. There is a little competition. We always have that. Facts. No problem. But we, if you do it together, you can't fail. You, you can never fail. And then like London said, stay safe, stay prayed up. Um, we want to thank you. Thanks to Wayne for having us. Anytime. On your and um, be blessed. Well, we definitely going to do this again because I, I, I want to redo this again. I want it more smooth, not this choppy breakup that I had. Normally, I don't have this problem, but we're definitely going to link up and do this again. Probably record it and then post it, whatever, but we're going to do this again. But thank both of y'all for your time. And, Lon, you have a good night. Get some sleep. You got school in the morning. <laughs> All right, John, you have a good one. Everyone, thanks for tuning tonight. The contact information will be in the link in bio. Please check them out on IG. And yes. let's make it happen. No, go ahead. Oh, we want to also say that London started a YouTube channel at the fourth quarter of 2020. So stay tuned for that. I'll send the information over to Dwayne. Yes. Um, well, it's going to be some ASMR. She has, she's interviewing other kids that are doing business. So you'll see that on her YouTube channel. Some of the business stuff that she's doing. Please send that information. Yes. Thanks. She got pranks and all this stuff she wants to do. So on me. I <laughs> <laughs> to make it fun and kid friendly. So y'all check her out. Live, love, laugh, London on YouTube. All right. Well, that's it, people. Thank you for tuning in. We check you later. Later. Peace. Peace. That will be a wrap on the show today. Thank you for tuning in to the show. I really appreciate that. Um, please reach out to me on IG at Twins Inc. Twitter, Twins Inc. as well. If you have questions, you want to be a part of the show, you can send me an email at info at twinsinc.net. <laughs> you can even go to twinsinc.net as well. But once again, I really appreciate the time that I was on the show today and the guests. So please come back again. I'm out.